Hello and welcome to this tutorial and thanks for stopping by to check it out. We will be talking about Angular and ASP.NET Core. Now please make sure you check the description so you can have the access to our online Angular ASP.NET Core course which is available at our website tutorialsxl.com. So now, let's go ahead and open Visual Studio and create a new project. We will be selecting ASP.NET Core as our project. We're gonna add this web application. You can select the appropriate application name and we're gonna hit the create. Now, notice you will be presented with a list of type of projects to select. Make sure you select Angular and then make sure you are running .NET Core uh, 3.0 and hit the create button to have the project created. Now I have already created the project for you and I will show it to you. Now, our project contain of these following failure folders. The client app is the folder where our Angular project is located. We have here our components, our uh, files, and the different uh, folders for the Angular application. Also, we have our package.json file over here which contains the packages for the Angular. Now, also, we have the controllers folder. The controllers folder is the one that contains our own ABI controllers which we can use to send and receive data between our backend and the client application. Now, we have the pages folder which is just some razor review HTML files. It's not really needed, like you will not like be working with them. Now, we have the startup.cs, which is an important file in the ASB.NET Core project, which you can use to control and add middlewares and configure applications for your uh, web project. Now, let's head back to our client app. And let's expand it a little bit. Here we have the app component, which is the main component. We have inside it some components, which is the navigation menu. And the router outlet is used to handle the routing navigation change for our own application. So we render the other components. Now, what I will do, I will uh, run the application to show you how it will look like at the beginning. So now, after we run the application, we'll be, we will be presented with the application and we're going to see some Angular pages available for us to navigate and use inside the browser. Now, uh, the application, uh, as you can see, here is the home component, here is the counter example, and here is the ABI example, which take data from the back end and render it for us. So as you can see, all this happening inside the same browser, we don't have any post backs or refresh which make our own application unique and fast. Now, 
I want to do some edits over here I want to head over to my uh, home component I don't need all of this I'm gonna just add an h3 element that says hello and I'm gonna add a new input this input will be of type text it will have this ng model and it will have this property as its value now here we will save this and we shall see the updates for on our application let's just head back over here okay I guess we have an error let me just check it uh, okay uh, we added it a wrong attribute of ng model so now we have this text box this h3 and this input element notice that as soon as i type in inside the text box it will be reflected inside my html view that is one of the uh, powerful things that angular and the client side processing uh, frameworks provide for you now also uh, one of the new features of visual studio which is came out with visual studio 2017 is that you can add breakpoints to see the data inside the TypeScript so you can just simply come down here add a breakpoint as soon as you hit the increment notice that you can debug the code and see the value it changes and even like it changes the value and see them reflected on the browser now also I want to come down here and what I want to uh, do I want to add a new component so let's do that let's cheat a little bit I'll just duplicate the home and I'm gonna create a my to do component over here I'm gonna just change the names I'll come down here we need to change this as well or we get an error okay and I'm gonna do it over here over selector and I will just add a symbol uh, to do list I'm gonna create a new array I'm gonna call it items uh, any of any this is what we're gonna do uh, we will let's add some title over here let's call it to do component and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna add a new input of type text okay and we're gonna bind it to ng model and I'm gonna call it item and I'm gonna add a new input of type button and I wanna add a new event and I'm gonna call it add item so we're gonna have the item added over here 
Okay. Now we will head over here. We're gonna need to create this event. The add item. Gonna add the item. And we will go call the items and add this new item. Now I'm gonna render the list of items. So I'm gonna say to do's. Okay. We just enhance the design a little bit. So we're gonna take this over here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just create a small table. It's gonna have TR. And it's gonna just have the item. Now also, we will create a new TR and this one will have an iteration. So we render the items. Items will come down here. We're gonna add the to do. And we're gonna run this. Okay, oh, but before that, we need to just import the, the component over here. Okay, after, after I add the declaration, I wanna just reference it inside the home component just like this okay so now okay we have the to do component but we just need to come down here say add Maybe I can add some classes, btn. Okay, just to make it a little bit cool. Now over here, I'm gonna add my first item. So I'm gonna say item one. Notice that it's reflected over here. If I wanna add a second item, also it will be available over here for me and as long as i add the items all of them they will be available for me so this was a quick demo of asp.net core angular i hope you enjoyed and find this demo uh, useful uh, please make sure you go to our website tutorialsxl.com and check out our online courses and check out our own angular asp.net core uh, bootcamp course. Thank you for watching.